Good morning, everybody. Custom Mike's here. We are at Marcel's Custom Metal in uh, Norco, California. Uh, and we are going to have a treat today. If you're a Patreon member, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is this will be the video number one uh, going to our uh, loyal Patreon followers. Um, and uh, there is such a treat inside this building. One of the greatest shapers in the world, Luke DeLay, um, who has taken over Marcel's custom metal. And Marcel DeLay was the father that created this shop. Uh, a long, long time ago, making all the tools that they started this business with. I myself has been a follower and a fan ever since I worked at Metal Crafters uh, back in the late 90s. And uh, uh, seeing some of the stuff that they do in this building right here is just completely amazing. Uh, an amazing metal shaper and artist done a lot of vehicles for uh, Metallica's Hetfield and uh, you're good man and uh, also a lot of them for you know on designed by Rick Dorr uh, bodies built by Luke Delay and uh, owned by Hetfield and you can now see them at uh, Peterson Museum uh, I think they have nine of those cars here. Excuse me. And uh, you actually have uh, Luke Belay right there uh, talking about some of the builds, etc. that he's made here. Uh, and what we have here is Luke's personal car, a tribute to uh, a Ferrari of the early days. So, just a couple of teasers here of some of the incredibly fun stuff that they make. Um, yes, we are at Marcel's Custom Metal. And uh, there's a lot of history here. There's just a few uh, of the Amber and Riddler winners uh, that Marcel's been working at. And you can see, uh, we'll do a, a tool section too. I just wanted to celebrate his dad too, uh, who won a heck of a shaper, and that's Marcel right there. We'll get a close up on these guys. So. Um, um, we got signatures from all over the world, um, tributing to him. There's Luke and his dad. Um, and there's uh, hundreds of examples of their work. That's actually the wireframe that they built this incredible car out of. Or from. Obviously, it's got all late model stuff under it. Um, but yeah, all throughout this building, you have examples of what they have done over the years and or um, appreciation from people uh, that they have... Uh, built cars for. I have watched this car for the last year or so uh, start from a wooden frame to be uncovered in aluminum uh, by Luke as he's making these things come true. Oh, this is not done yet, but a lot of interesting work. Oh, and open the hood. We'll have a glimpse into that one too, because it's really an unusual end. Nineteen twenty-four. And it's overhead cam. Supercharged. That's amazing. That's amazing. Very cool. Look at the <laughs> everything's in the open. So. 
Again, we got another couple of Hetfield cars, all from scratch. A lot of those cars are built the same way. They use a build a wire frame uh, on top of the, the fr whichever frame they decide to use. And uh, several of the cars have had a what this is is a full size drawing of a side view, so you can build a wire frame to understand where the shapes are, etc. Uh, then obviously there's uh, other drawings that show um, different views of the cars and different details that he can then take proportional measurements from and uh, uh, figure out where and what and how things are supposed to end up uh, on the car, so to say. A lot of interesting detail work on the inside. He is very inspired by <coughs> excuse me, by aircraft. And uh, oh, I'm going to go the slow here so that you can probably stop and read some of the stuff. Yeah, go ahead and stop. Okay, and then we'll do the pictures. Okay, and then we'll do segment two. And you can stop. And you can stop. <laughs> And then the last portion right there. It's pretty interesting, so. And then several pictures of other cars that they built and the progress shots. It is a great place to come and visit. Oh, this is this shot right there. I think they're 14 feet tall with the running boards. That is quite an experience right there. And I said, what a shot. And he's standing on top of a stump that I have seen his dad make panels on and it's just amazing it's an amazing place to be in. like I said I, I worked for metal crafters when I got to meet the family and, and it was just an amazing experience through some of the some of the metal in store uh, a couple more of the cars that has been built a lot of the tools especially the early stuff like that that combination machine over there was built by Marcel because uh, they didn't, couldn't afford to buy one. And then yet they built a completely worldwide successful metal shaping company that is now owned by Luke. And this is actually the, the home of his father, uh, Marcel's uh, uh, place that he took over after uh, Marcel passed. But what a car. We'll go through and look at some of the shapes and features. All hand done. All hand pounded. All picked. All. And he's made all of this. There's a few of the people he's thanking that has helped them over the years with this personal project and uh, it's just an amazing thing yeah. to see the quality and the work of ship. I'll include some pictures too uh, with a tease about uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous work. The detail on some of these things, they're all in the all done in house. It's like a, see if I can get it here, but there's actually a seam here. You can see it right there, right there. See how the color is slightly different as I get the light reflecting in it. That is actually a weld of the front and the rear section of this fender. Uh, and you can see if you look really, really close, you can see uh, where all the seams are, but they are virtually. Uh, uh, invisible when you step back <clears throat> it's just such an amazing uh, uh, craftsmanship you good You know, just 
absolutely built as a tribute to the cars that he's worked on in the past, but also a tribute to his skills, a tribute to something he loved. So it's just really cool. I think I'm going to try to, to get corner him one day uh, in the next few weeks or months and do a little interview with him if he'll let me. So anyhow. I mean, maybe we can get some DNA. I'll have some photos of what it looks like underneath there also. It is incredible. The d amount of detail is just astounding. So, feast your eye on out. Oh, let's go and take a look at the, the model. Here. Let me just move some stuff around. You can look at the cool stuff right there. So, this is the inspiration of uh, what he has created. And it can kind of give you some idea of where these shapes are coming from, you know. And then we go from that to the car. And yeah, it is his interpretation of all the pieces that are uh, favorable to him, that he likes the most. And like I said, what an amazing piece of work. Absolutely amazing people. Just, yeah, I, I just can't stop looking at it. I know what it takes to shape this. And I am not saying that I'm as good a Luke by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but I know what it takes. We worked at the Metalcraft as I was doing. Uh, one of the things we did was... Uh, uh, Rolls Royce, or actually Bentley's for the Sultan of Benaya. And I handpicked and filed some of those bodies uh, when the Englishman came with his white gloves and yellow marker and all that stuff, marking up what he didn't like. And there was weeks of picking and filing, and let alone time to build such an incredible, such an incredible uh, uh, form of art that he can then drive as he uh, finishes it. It's just going to be an amazing thing. So let's uh, delve into a little bit of the tools that they have here. I know the Erko uh, Shrinker and Stretcher is one that I really like. But even the hand one is a uh, really handy unit too. And you got a little planishing hammer and a rubber English wheel that you can create shapes on without doing any wheel marks on it. Uh, usable for many, uh, many aspects. And you got all these little dollies, stationary dollies. Most of them handmade by probably his dad. And uh, all made to do some a specific task, so to say. And then it's become usable over time. Uh, and they've just uh, kept using a well-used <laughs> anvil. Everybody's got to have an anvil, you know. That's a nice little detail. And the 060-3003H14 is what he probably shapes most of his stuff with. Another Airco Shrinker Stretcher. Fabulous tool. Absolutely fabulous tool. And then you got a... Uh, you got a can't even... A bead roller with a pile of uh, attachments. And I would assume that many of these are handmade too for a specific bead or a specific look that they wanted. But also you can see this one, you see they're hand built or modified or, or enhanced by the Marcel family at some point or others. There's another little, uh, it's almost a wheel slip roll kind of combo thing. And uh, you might be using that to edge things. Maybe that's uh, step one is on this one. I think it's on this one, the text though. Um, you can set a specific location that you want the sheet metal to bend with this one. There's many other things you can do with it too. It's just some of the things I've used it for. Um, this place is just an incredible place to be at. Um, then you got a respectable <laughs> metal table that's all metal right there all thick that's about what six eight inches of solidness 
There's an intricate shape in aluminum that is made. Just gorgeous. I think that top is cast, which is phenomenal. Just fabulous things they do. So you got a little handmade uh, uh, derby car, and then you got all the books. If you come here, you got all these books of stuff to see. You can see the build from start to finish on many of these. It's a journey by itself. So cool. So cool. Yeah, it is an absolutely amazing place. Absolutely amazing place. And everybody that's anybody in this industry who will be here today and looking at uh, these cars and drooling at them and having fun and catching up and I just love watching this you can see the, the hammer marks on it and picking it uh, and they, there's probably a, you know, a little bead growing on the edge it's just very intricate and beautiful work and it's still in process so you know you get the uh, the wire metal shape or metal forms are under it to make sure that he's shaping it to what the customer has approved and to make sure it comes out as desired <laughs> oh i gotta i gotta show you this too this stump right here is what marcella was using the first time I got to meet him at the shop in Corona and it was interesting because they had all these tools were all around the perimeter uh, and I mean some of these tools like the Ericos sorry about the swinging there uh, like the Ericos right here they're very expensive tools and they were all dusty and what myself was working on was this with a big old wooden mallet <laughs> and he was working on an Auburn Speedster and I was just like wow really <laughs> And that's when I realized that I, tools aren't all, they just make it easier, but you have to have the vision, you have to have the skill, you have to have the feel to create something at this level. And uh, Luke definitely doing that's his wife right there. Uh, and then this is a, a pull max, uh, just a gorgeous piece of equipment. Uh, and you got a slip roll back there and, and an edge notcher and a small little brake and it's a finger brake too you can make boxes out of them and then some of the cars that they've been at and where they've been working yeah it's just an amazing you got this gorgeous uh english wheel sizable unit <clears throat> i've seen pictures of them doing large panels like hoods and stuff his wife's actually helping him because luke works mostly alone in uh, this fabulous facility, creating all this art. It used to be his brother and his father, and now it's Luke that has taken the reins to make all this stuff happen. So, anyhow, uh, Luke Delay is on uh, Facebook, and you can reach him there. Uh, and uh, he has open houses on a regular basis to communicate with him there and see if you can get an invite. Uh, it is a cool place to visit if you ever come down here, so. And if you're a patron supplier, supplier, I can't even speak here. If you're a patron supporter, like Michael Johnson, for example, who was our number one uh, supporter, we are very grateful for you. This is what's gonna make this channel grow in the future and be, make us able to, to get better equipment and actually deliver a better product to you. Uh, as we learn and grow and get better equipment and are able to go to more fun shows and etc. So, but most of all, it, it, it is makes me so grateful to know I have the support. So, anyhow, love you all. Thank you for hanging at Custom Mics, and I hope this is uh, worthy of uh, the Custom Mics experience for you.
thank you, Luke Belay, for for having us and uh, welcoming us into your uh, fabulous facility. All right, see y'all.